Yeah, I mean, I think we've got an incredible team and we're making great progress here. We're trying to achieve the holy grail of rocketry, which is a fully and rapidly reusable rocket. There's no, no one has ever made a fully reusable orbital rocket and never one that could be rapidly reflown like an aircraft. And that is actually the essential sort of invention, if you will, that is necessary. How did SpaceX, a startup founded in 2002, manage to disrupt an industry long dominated by government giants like NASA? Discover how Elon Musk's bold vision and innovative approach propelled SpaceX to redefine space travel, challenging traditional methods and setting new standards for exploration. The space race used to be dominated by a few key players, namely massive government agencies like NASA, Roscosmos, and the European Space Agency. The budgets were astronomical, the timelines stretched over decades, and the bureaucracy was complex. But in 2002, Elon Musk, fresh out of the sale of PayPal, made a decision that would change the face of space exploration forever. He founded SpaceX with a goal to make space travel affordable, efficient, and most importantly, repeatable. At the heart of Musk's vision was the concept of making humanity a multiplanetary species. He believed that to ensure human survival, we need to spread beyond Earth, with Mars as a primary target. But he knew that getting to Mars wasn't going to happen if we relied on the traditional models of space travel, which were incredibly costly and complex. NASA, despite its history of groundbreaking achievements, had become bogged down in red tape, budget cuts, and technological limitations. SpaceX aimed to change all of that, and surprisingly, it succeeded. Why did NASA struggle with innovation? Well, as a government agency, NASA's budget fluctuated with each new administration, leading to delays and cancellations of projects. Furthermore, NASA relied on a network of contractors and used what's known as a cost-plus model. This meant companies hired to build components for NASA missions were reimbursed for costs plus a profit margin, leading to high costs and less incentive for innovation. In contrast, Musk set up SpaceX as a lean, vertically integrated company. Instead of hiring multiple contractors, SpaceX aimed to build most of its parts in-house from rocket engines to landing legs. This approach gave SpaceX more control over costs and allowed for rapid development cycles. SpaceX moved fast, testing and learning from failures quickly, something NASA's bureaucracy often made difficult. The early years weren't easy. SpaceX's first rocket, Falcon 1, was designed to be a low-cost solution for getting payloads into space. Falcon 1 successfully reached orbit, becoming the first privately developed liquid-fueled rocket to do so. SpaceX wasn't just about winning contracts, it was about transforming space travel. With the Falcon 9, Musk envisioned a reusable rocket, a concept that most considered impossible. Traditionally, rockets were single-use. After launch, they were discarded. Musk argued that this was as unsustainable as discarding aeroplanes after each flight. Despite skepticism in 2015, SpaceX achieved the first successful Falcon 9 booster landing, a 14-story rocket returning to Earth with precision. Unlike NASA's costly shuttle reusability efforts, SpaceX proved rockets could be reused efficiently, marking a game-changing shift in spaceflight. With reusable rockets, SpaceX slashed the cost of launching cargo and people into space. Today, a Falcon 9 launch can cost around $62 million, a fraction of what it costs to launch NASA's space launch system, which has yet to demonstrate the same kind of reusability. This isn't just a small efficiency improvement. This is a shift that could make space accessible to not just governments, but private companies, universities, and even space tourists in the future. Also, NASA's contractor model didn't incentivize companies to keep costs low or experiment with risky innovations. SpaceX being privately funded could bypass these issues, they took risks, learned quickly, and didn't have to answer to the same bureaucratic chains. When SpaceX failed, they failed fast and moved on. When NASA failed, investigations, reviews, and public scrutiny slowed progress. SpaceX's startup mentality gave it an edge, an ability to push the limits that NASA's more conservative approach couldn't match. One of the most ambitious projects under SpaceX's belt is Starship, a fully reusable spacecraft designed for missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Starship is Musk's boldest bet yet. With Starship, SpaceX aims to build a vessel capable of carrying up to 100 people on long-duration interplanetary voyages. This is not just about launching astronauts, it's about fundamentally transforming the scale and cost of human space travel. Imagine a future where Starship transports tourists, tourist researchers, and even settlers to destinations beyond Earth. This massive vehicle standing taller than any other rocket built to date represents the culmination of SpaceX's philosophy. Musk has often said that the goal of Starship is to make life multiplanetary, with Mars as the ultimate destination. The idea may sound like science fiction, but with SpaceX's track record, it's no longer dismissed as mere fantasy. Of course, SpaceX is not without its critics. Musk's timelines are famously optimistic, and some question the environmental impact of frequent rocket launches. Additionally, there are concerns about safety, particularly when it comes to Starship's ambitious Mars plans. But Musk and his team have repeatedly shown that they're capable of overcoming technological and logistical challenges, 
even if it takes longer than Musk's predictions. And, perhaps most importantly, SpaceX has managed to make space exciting again. Through live stream launches, reusable rockets landing with precision, and Musk's social media updates, the company has captured the public's imagination. Space exploration, which once seemed inaccessible and distant, now feels closer than ever. SpaceX's influence has also been felt across the industry. Other companies like Blue Origin and Boeing are stepping up their own space efforts. NASA, too, has been reinvigorated, partnering with SpaceX and awarding contracts to private companies to foster a competitive ecosystem. This is a marked shift from the days when NASA had exclusive control over U.S. space missions. By relying on SpaceX for resupply missions and astronaut transport, NASA has been able to refocus its resources on deep space exploration and long-term projects like the Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon. The competition isn't just limited to American companies. China has been advancing rapidly with its own space program, including the development of the Tiangong space station and ambitious lunar missions. As SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of what private companies can achieve, the global space race is heating up once more. SpaceX's rapid progress has added urgency to space programs worldwide, with agencies and nations striving to keep up with the new standard Musk's company has set. Looking ahead, SpaceX's potential seems limitless. Starship's planned missions to the moon as part of NASA's Artemis program and eventual crewed missions to Mars suggest a future where humanity's presence extends beyond Earth. But SpaceX's impact isn't only about the technology and milestones, it's about changing the mindset around space. No longer is space travel seen as something only governments can achieve. SpaceX has made it clear that with the right approach, a private company can not only compete but thrive in this field. Imagine where this shift could lead. A future where space stations are built by multiple private companies, where ordinary people take trips to the edge of space, where universities and small businesses can afford to send their own satellites into orbit. This is the vision Musk has helped bring to life a democratization of space that NASA's model for all its achievements couldn't fully realize. SpaceX hasn't made NASA obsolete. Instead, it has complemented and reinvigorated it. NASA's long-term exploration goals and scientific missions still hold incredible value, but by bringing competition and cost-effectiveness into spaceflight, SpaceX has shown a new way forward. NASA and other agencies have benefited from the advances and momentum SpaceX has created. Musk has reminded the world that space is not only worth exploring, it's worth reaching out to, pushing for, and one day living in. As we stand on the edge of this new frontier, it's clear that SpaceX is leading us into a future once thought impossible. Elon Musk's vision, ambition, and relentless pursuit of innovation have made space exciting, accessible, and competitive again. So what do you think? Will SpaceX be the company that finally lands humans on Mars? Could SpaceX's progress redefine our future on Earth and beyond? Elon Musk's SpaceX has redefined the space industry, making NASA look conservative by comparison. By pushing boundaries and focusing on reusable technology, SpaceX has transformed space exploration forever. Where will SpaceX take us next? If you enjoyed this journey through SpaceX's achievements, please hit the like button, subscribe for more, and share your thoughts in the comments.